So it's a fact that Pinterest is huge and has tons of prospects waiting to find you. So according to Shopify.com, from their analysis of over 25,000 online stores, they found that the customer who initially comes to Pinterest via Facebook.com or Twitter will actually spend about twice as much as those who don't. Now, these are just some of the countless amazing statistics from Pinterest. So if you're a business, then you'll want to tap into this market. Now, according to new research, roughly about 25% of consumers reported purchasing a product or service after discovering it on Pinterest. So compared to that of most social media sites, Pinterest decreases the amount of steps that users take from discovering something interesting to a conversion. But here's the problem. Most people that are marketing on Pinterest are doing it wrong. In fact, you may have tried it and not gotten any results and thought, this doesn't work. However, we have to do it properly and provide what we call pin-worthy images. Because the truth of the matter is that you're competing against thousands of other images, so how do you survive? What should you put in your images? How should you lay out your funnel? Is there a blueprint or a formula to all of this madness? So we've got a nine part step-by-step -step video course for you on how to generate traffic with Pinterest and get more clicks with a very simple and easy to follow system. So here's a quick video's overview of what's inside this video course. Video number one is the introduction. We'll talk about how to get in the right mindset, make sure that you're on the same page and the tools that you're gonna need to successfully implement this video course. Video number two, we'll talk about the platform. We'll talk about how Pinterest is different than all the other social media sites because if you assume that Pinterest is the same as Facebook or the same as Instagram, then you have set yourself up for failure. Video number three, we'll talk about quality and what that looks like in terms of a image. And in video number four, we'll talk about congruency and how that relates to your funnel. And video number five, we'll talk about how big your graphic should be. Should it be a square? Should it be a rectangle? Should it be longer? What should it look like? And we'll talk about the highest converting type of size as well. Video number six, we'll talk about an attractive pin. And video number seven, we'll talk about the anatomy of that image pin. What does that look like? What should it entail? What are the three factors that every single image should contain? And video number eight, we'll talk about a specific reverse engineering hack that will allow you to pinpoint Pinterest pins that are doing really well and how they're able to do it. And of course, last but not least, video number nine, we'll talk about how to automate the process of scheduling your pins in advance. So that way you can have a consistent flow of Pinterest pins and you don't have to worry about being up late at night pinning things or being at home at all times. You can be away from the computer and have the system automatically run for you once you've set up your Pinterest graphics. So go ahead and grab this video course and learn how to generate high converting traffic from Pinterest.